A positive integer is said to be perfect if it is equal to the sum of its proper divisors. For example, here's the number 6 with its proper divisors 2, 3, and 1. And here's the number 28 with its proper divisors 4, 14, 2, 7, and 1. We can see that 6 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, and 28 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14. Therefore, both 6 and 28 are perfect numbers. Separated by about 2,000 years, Euclid and Euler proved the two halves of the theorem that states that n is an even perfect number if and only if n can be written as the form 2 raised to the quantity p minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the p minus 1, where 2 to the p minus 1 is prime. According to this theorem, if n is an even perfect number, we can arrange n dots in a rectangle with dimensions 2 raised to the p minus 1 and 2 to the p minus 1. But then the side of length 2 to the p minus 1 can be split into two pieces, one of length 2 raised to the p minus 1, and the other with a length of 2 raised to the p minus 1 minus 1. Now consider the triangular array with base of length 2 raised to the p minus 1 minus 1 sitting in the upper right of this rectangle. We can swing this array down, forming a larger triangular array. In this case, the base of the new triangular array is 2 to the p minus 1 plus 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1, which simplifies to 2 to the p minus 1. But this means that any even perfect number can fit into a triangular array with a base of length 2 to the p minus 1, so that n is an even perfect number if and only if n is the 2 to the p minus 1 triangular number, where 2 to the p minus 1 is prime. It turns out that there aren't many primes of the form 2 to the p minus 1 that we know. These primes are called Mersenne primes, and it's an open problem to figure out if there are infinitely many such primes. Equivalently, it's an open problem to figure out if there are infinitely many even perfect numbers.